Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the zodiac sign of Libra. So the Libra sign is classified as a symbol of the, the two scales balancing each other. Um, it is a very powerful zodiac sign. It's a cardinal sign. It starts the beginning of fall, which is today, September 22nd. And it is a very, very powerful sign. Um, their planetary influence is Venus. So that's the planet of like beauty, uh, materialism. It's all just about looks. Um, so they do have very good sensory perception. So the Libra, I'm going to start with the eminent personalities. We have Eminem, October 17th, people like Will Smith, September 25th, and also Vladimir Putin and Kim Kardashian. So these are four different people that I brought up that also have, um, they're all in the same Libra sign, but probably very, very different traits, and they do different things career-wise. Kim Kardashian got rich off of, well, starting off with a bit of uh, explicit videos, and then she ended up doing a lot of uh, like reality shows and different things, but what she's based off of is kind of sexual in nature, which is oddly enough, that's Venus. Um, you get Vladimir Putin, who was more of a KGB spy, who ended up becoming uh, the prime minister or president of Russia. You have Will Smith, great actor, uh, was very known for his looks, very attractive in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, got the ladies' attention and got famous off that. Eminem struggled, became a big rapper, is one of the biggest rappers of all time. Um, a lot of what they did has to do with their numerology as well. I would definitely delve into that on in a separate occasion. Um, but they all still do come under the Venus sign Libra. And that does play a vital role in the attraction, the luck that they had. I'm not saying that their careers were lucky, but I am saying that Venus did give them that extra push to actually give them the ability to get to where they are. That's the thing. When you're under the Venus sign of Libra, you get a lot of Venus's uh, benefic traits meaning you're gonna have an easier time in regard with relation like relating with people um you'll have an easier time um just with communicating in general people will naturally like you and that's what happens when you're on this side um you guys tend to prioritize relationships over yourself like if you get involved with somebody you end up becoming like you want to know what they want versus what you want and you end up losing yourself in that so that's like the one weakness i would say and all you have to do is just be more self-interested that's it when it comes to business, you guys are great. Um, when it comes to careers, um, it's really a wide spectrum. Like the people that I just brought up, they all have different career sets. Like one is a politician, next one's an actor, next one's a rapper, uh, next one did explicit videos. So like you get people that can just do whatever. You guys have natural attraction and it's a, Venus is considered like the devil's planet as well and all this other stuff just because it's considered all about attraction, etc. So you do have um, a natural tendency to get rich, and that's really good. The Virgo was able to get rich through their own mind. The Libra, I would argue, it gets rich through their own luck. And I would say that because it's not that you guys aren't smart, you guys aren't skilled, you guys have the skills, but you have an extra, um, the law of attraction is on your side naturally. Meaning people naturally think that you're good looking, people naturally think that what you have to say is important, and people are naturally able to follow your orders. If I was a Libra personally, I would then use this to my advantage and just get into whatever my niche is, whether that be acting in the business world and just take charge. If you're in like, like you want to get into show business, be a director. If you want to be in um, social media, like maybe a social media manager, maybe HR if you're working for a company. The reason why is because you're able to reach these high positions through your social networking skills. This is also an air sign, meaning you guys are very, very intellectual and it's a cardinal sign, meaning you guys are the initiary force, pioneering force. You guys can push things into... Um, like just you guys are the primary force. You guys can just push things into reality very, very quickly. And that's, I consider very important with all of these things being said, it's up to you to actually look at what you're interested in, what you want to do, and then compare it with your numerology, your life path, your name number, and then see how all of it blends together. Like I said in the last video, everybody is an individual. So everybody's going to be a little bit different as to what they like, what they want to do or how they want to do it. So it's up to you to then figure it out and say, okay, I'm good at X, Y, Z. I have a high level of attraction with the universe already because of my planet of Venus. What can I do with that? Another thing, a little bit off note, guys. Um, if you're a life path eight and you're also a Libra, you have extremely good luck. Because Saturn and Venus get along perfectly. They're both very materialistic. Saturn gives you the discipline. Libra already has natural discipline due to the balance part of it. Saturn loves that. And because of that, it's considered one of the best conjunctions. I'd argue that's why Eminem became one of rap's major icons is because of that one thing. Eminem was able to literally, he's born October 17th, so he has a birth number of 
eight. If I remember correctly, he had a life path number of one. And then his zodiac sign, of course, is Libra. So he literally, he, he really got like a lottery ticket sort of a natal chart, if you will, because he literally has three planets that literally get along perfectly. Saturn, all about discipline, good judgment, slow pace, good movement. Venus, all about attraction. Sun, all about pioneering force. On top of that, Libra's already a pioneering force because it's a cardinal sign. So he has great luck there. Was his life easy? No. But was he able to make the best out of it? Definitely. And that's what I want you guys to do. There's three different deacons with Libra, just like every other zodiac sign. On the next chapter, next season of the um, astrology series, I'm actually going to go over each of the deacons and discuss it and also how it relates with numerology as well. But aside from that, the one weakness that I do want to cover more would be the whole thing behind when you guys get into relationships. In the business world and in um, getting good money, you guys are fine there. Libras are able to control themselves. They never end up really becoming broke. You guys are really good with budgeting. Um, you are an air sign, so very highly intellectual. Educational-wise, I don't worry about you guys either. You guys will go to school for the right things. But relationships is your detriment. I know Libras, are, like um, they've just given themselves to others within relationships. They give themselves to their spouse, all even if they were girls. And they ended up getting with guys that literally were just taking, 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 and then they were getting nothing from it. They were getting no benefit from it whatsoever. If you are a Libra and you're in that kind of position, you need to understand that you need to receive the same love that you're giving. You have to understand that like not everybody is going to be there for you. Not everybody cares. Not everybody loves the same way you do. When you love, it's extreme. When other people love, it may not be as extreme and or they may not love you at all. And that's the hard, cold truth, but that's how it works. If you are having issues like that, leave something for me in the comments. I can look over your life path, your name number, and also go over the Zodiac natal chart as well and then see what I can do for you from there. But typically with Libras, you guys want to get with like fire signs or maybe even an earth sign. I'd say fire if you're a male because you're able to give the fire sign that extra oxygen, um, extra motivation to actually get things done. Um, if you are a female, you have an air sign, you might be a little in the clouds in regards to what you want to do, maybe lack a little bit of direction. I recommend getting with an earth sign so that way you're able to stay grounded and actually get your big thoughts, bring it to fruition. An earth sign will definitely help you ground your dreams into reality. So, But aside from that, um, that would be it for Libra. I don't have much, I would say, complaints. There's not much cons, there's a lot of pros. Um, but if you find yourself not really... Uh, falling under line of what I'm saying in regards to the Libra sign, definitely leave me a comment and I'll go over everything that I can with you just to see why you're not falling under the category or what you need to do to improve it. Because like I said, there could be environmental influence as well. Like maybe you had a rough childhood. Uh, maybe your numerology chart is making it hard for you to get Venus's benefits, but I can help you with all of that. It doesn't regard any name changes. It just regards knowing how to channel your energy correctly. All right, guys. So thank you very much for your time today. Next is Scorpio. I'll be right back with that tomorrow, guys. Thank you again. Leave a comment for me. I'll let me. I'll be back.